Hello, my friends. May God bless you, all of you, in the name of the Lord Jesus. May He take and make each of you a fountain, a fountain of light, a fountain of the truth and of life, a fountain of His presence, in order for other people to come and have the understanding of who He is through you. Pay attention to one of the most discussed and read texts of all times in the Holy Scriptures. It says exactly after the inauguration of the Temple of Solomon, when Solomon prayed to God and dedicated the Temple to Him, he prayed to God and by night the Lord appeared and spoke to him and amongst the words of the Lord he said if my people if my people who are called by my name in other words, for you who say you're a Christian, you who say you are from the Abrahamic faith, you who believe in the Word of God, you who have put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, then you are one of the people who are called by His name. You are framed in this text. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Look here. You see that God puts a condition the blessing of God depends on us. It depends on us. They depend on our obedience, our subjection to His Word. He says, if my people, and you're included if you call yourself a Christian, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves, you see, first God requires humility. What is humility? Humility is to consider yourself a sinner, to recognize your sins. So when we enter into the presence of God in the name of the Lord Jesus, we have to consider that we are sinners that He Himself alone is holy, the most holy. Only He is worthy of all the honor and glory and praise and majesty. He alone and nobody else. So when you consider that He is the Creator, the Father of creation, Father of the infinite, including yourself, including yourself, when you consider Him like that and you humble yourself to God, then you have the right to pray. You have the right to ask and cry out to Him. He said, humble, humble yourself and pray. So after the prayer comes the seeking of His face and adding up to the conversion of your sins and wicked ways. I don't know if you know, but it's not God who converts us. We are the ones who convert ourselves. We have to convert. Because we have free will to choose whatever we want. So if we are going to the direction that points north, and we want, we want out of our free will to convert to the Lord 
we have to turn 180 degrees and start going towards the direction that points south and vice versa. You're going to the south, you're going to evil, but you want to convert. Then you turn around 180 degrees and start going north. This means the conversion is of each one of us. God convicts us of our sins, but it is us who have to make the choice. I need to recognize that I am a sinner and that I want to leave my sins. I want to leave and I decide to abandon my sins. So then God promises to hear the prayer from heaven and forgive the sins and heal our wounds. It works like this. If you do what He commands, He will do what He promises. That's how it works. If you do His will, and He will then fulfill His promises in your life. If you don't do His will, you don't obey His word. So, He cannot be responsible to fulfill His promise once you didn't do your part. Because you didn't do your part. You have seen many friends of yours, people who already received blessings of God, but you still haven't received. You have been staying behind. And why is that? Because they heard the word of God and converted. They obeyed and God fulfilled His word. But if you didn't do the will of God, you didn't obey, you didn't convert of your sins, how can you demand from God His promises? His promises are for those who convert, those who humble themselves, those who pray and seek His face. That's how it works. It's giving and taking. You do your part and God will do His. You don't do your part, He doesn't do His. When you do your part, what God wants and determines, you have the right then to demand from Him the fulfillment of His wonderful promises. It's your responsibility to receive or not the answer from God. That's how it works. If you obey, you are blessed because of this obedience. If you remain rebellious, you continue to suffer and He can't do anything. What He had to do, He's done already. Maybe you're there listening to us and you're desperate, not knowing what to do. This is what He's speaking to you right now. If you humble yourself, it can be in your house, in your bathroom, placing your face on the floor, or you can close the lid of the toilet bowl and put your elbows on top and pray, saying to God, Oh my God, have mercy on me. I am a sinner. I don't want to continue living in this way. I don't want to continue living in the way of sin. I want to be free from this. I don't want to continue with this type of life. When you convert from your wicked ways, which you know what they are, then God hears your prayer and heals your life. He realizes wonders in our life. That's how it works. God is always expecting from our side the humility, the conversion, the prayer, the seeking of His face. If we do that, He comes and meets our needs. 